guys, here is your whiteboard for the workout Froggin. Froggin is five rounds on the fives. So you'll start around at zero, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and 20 minutes. In that five minute window, you want to accomplish the following. A 200 meter run, 15 burpees, and then a 200 meter run. You want at a minimum one minute rest between rounds. If you can't get this work done in four minutes, reduce the amount of work you're going to do. And that could be done by the distance of your run and or the number of burpees. So talk to your coach, they can help you modify that um, for where you are in your fitness journey right now. But a couple of tips on this workout. The biggest tip I can give you is gravity. Gravity is your friend today. On our 200 meter runs, let's get a little more of an aggressive lean at the ankle. Running, especially the early portions of our sprint, are aided by, number one, a strong leg drive against the ground, but a strong lean forward. As we lean forward, gravity does some of the work. We are falling and catching ourselves over and over and over again. Gravity will assist the leg drive, which means you have to do a little bit less work as opposed to standing perfectly upright trying to sprint forward. So have a good aggressive forward lean at your ankles during those 200 meter intervals. And gravity with the burpees. Don't resist so much on the way down. It's okay to flop down as you step or jump your feet back. All right. Don't slowly lower yourself down. You're putting a lot of extra works on your tricep and that eccentric or lowering portion of the burpee. So just flop. Don't flop so much that you smack your face against the ground and need dental work and have a bloody nose. Let's not do that. But try to let gravity assist you in your burpees as well. It'll really preserve for those later rounds. Now, we're going to score this, you guessed it, by your slowest round. How I recommend approaching this, because these are higher intensity intervals, they're sprints and they're burpees, so it's really going to get your breathing and heart rate up. Let's focus on making those final three rounds faster than our first two. So use those first two rounds, not just the first one, but those first two rounds as pacers. Let's keep them maybe closer to that four minute mark, or as you're making that run, let's pull back just a little bit. And then those last three rounds is when we want to improve on the score we had in the first two. So their score today is your lowest, Let's think about those last three rounds in particular, using our first two to really kind of pace things out and feel it out for us. And let's let gravity assist with a nice aggressive forward lean at the ankles on our sprints and letting gravity help us by flopping to the ground a little bit on the burpees. Let me know how you did on Froggin.